Do you think you have the right to yell and scream and rage at your parents? No. Because I looked at a piece of tape that I don't think you've seen, and I would like you to look at and tell me what you think about it. So what are we going to do about school? I don't want to do school. We already agreed that I could do this. You haven't tried homeschool. I have. You have? I remember when I would sit on the table out there and I would do homeschooling and preschool and first grade and stuff. Don't tell me I didn't do homeschooling because I did. Man, I can't take you anymore. You never understand anything. You heard me say that. I'll say it a thousand more times because it's true. Everything, the homework, the anxiety, I can't do it anymore. You need to go to school. I'm not going to school. Delete that video. I'm I'll not... call the cops right now and they'll come and remove it for you. I'm 17. I'm a known person. I could do that. What's that about? I was very angry and um, my mom wasn't hearing me out. I was going through a lot. My friend just had committed suicide. So, um, you know, it doesn't help being bullied because that's the fact that that's why he committed suicide was because he's being bullied. So, um, I just came home mad that day. I guess I just wanted her to understand my pain because she hasn't. And you, you can tell when I'm not okay. You're not okay most of the time. Exactly. So you would want her to be able to see things through your eyes. Yes, sir. To stand in your shoes and experience what you're experiencing. Yes, sir. But yet you say you lie and manipulate, mm -hmm. which makes you a moving target. Yeah. Because it's hard to know who you are, where you are, whatever. Mm -hmm. So help me understand, because I'm like a really good listener. <laughs> yeah. We've raised two boys, mm -hmm. so I've, they've been <laughs> through your age. Yeah. And I'm curious, you said she doesn't understand what you've been through, mm -hmm. how things are different, and what your pain is. And you said you have panic attacks. Yes, sir. Describe a panic attack for me. Um, can't breathe at all, you start shaking a lot, you don't remember much, and then after you're done having a panic attack or anxiety attack, you just feel like a zombie. Mm -hmm. So it just washes you out, you're just like yes, limp. Mm -hmm. um, and how often does that happen? Um, not often, it's just when I'm put in like a really bad situation, like um, obviously with me mm -hmm. being harassed and threatened, that definitely gave me some anxiety and panic attacks because I didn't know how to react. And um, especially when this came all about, I, I wasn't having panic and anxiety attacks. It was like a thing that, you know, probably a year or two ago started happening because I was being fearful of my life. 